Hi, I'm Shepard Donis. Uh, I'm a specialized in English and French fine dining, also an author and a poet. He's Welcome so to the show. He is very He's sexy. sexy. He is a master. Oh, of course. I'm telling you, You're he makes the ladies weak. Right. He makes <laughs> the ladies <laughs> weak. So that anyway, that starts with his poetry. All of He's the master Whoa. of sauce. That's, it. That's one of your nicknames, isn't it? Sauce range is coming out soon, so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'll come back to the sweetness. Let's go back to Mr. Sweetness himself. Oh, oh God! We've got Chef Adonis Black. What's up, darling? How are you? I'm very good. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Well, no, I'm really, I'm really, really happy to have you. Like, we've actually been friends for quite a while now, actually. I met you when I very, when we really first started. We were in that group together. What was the group name of the group? It was a very crazy group, um, but it was a WhatsApp group for creatives. Yeah. And then we started talking there. And oh, then we set that one up. Was it like a um, girl called? I don't know. I'm saying name right now. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, right, not right now. <laughs> anyway, designer, jewelry yes. maker type person. Yes. yes. I was in that group. I left it in about ten minutes. But oh, I must say, I, as much as I had some crazy experiences in that group, I've met I met some amazing people. I met Chef. Mm -hmm. I met Ras King Bubba, who I do a lot of work with, and we started speaking back then when yeah. I when I first started my poetic journey, and then we've been friends ever since really, and we've been performing together. We both go to Flow. You've been supporting me, and I'm really happy to support you. Um, your food is to die for. He he he, he wowed me with a, a nice and try to feed me with a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Hearts and minds, bro. Hearts and minds. <laughs> Way to a lady that oh, heart is through her stomach. There's a couple of other ways. That's where she got them solid, 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 solid legs from. Right. <laughs> that was food. That was food. Not with those little portions you gave me, mate. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always keep them wanting more, innit? So. This, which is true, and I literally, I definitely wanted more. So tell, tell what kind of food, tell the audience what kind of food you cook, and how did you get into um, so, being a chef? Um, I've been a chef 12 years now, okay. and I specialise in English and French fine dining. Mm -hmm. um, so I can do all the stuff, like master chef stuff, like purees, reductions, foams. Confit. So my background is mainly being hotels, restaurants, working under celebrity chefs. And um, yeah, that's what my career has been right for long, the last 10 years, so okay. 10 years. And I think when I kind of created the whole Chef Adonis imagery, and the, the concept himself, he's kind of grew into his own alter ego. You see how um, Beyonce's got Sasha Fierce. Mm, so, so basically, I created Chef Adonis just for myself. So my own kind of project where I felt like I need to do more stuff for myself. So I created him. I was like, I'm a chef. I'm good looking. So I kind of call myself this. <laughs> he's big and strong. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then since then, it's just kind of took up its own its own life, really. All the dishes on there, all dishes that I've created, made myself. Um, can, can we can we load up the slideshow of some chefs' food so the audience can see? Him? Keep talking. But health warning, people. Yeah, hungry warning. Literally, when I was getting these images, I was licking the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my fish and oh look, here we go. Oh, look at this food. It's amazing. That dish, I won a competition in January. Okay. Um, so that was. What was that? We've got monkfish. It's monkfish, isn't it? So it's monkfish. It is a micro crest. Um, micro crest. Yeah, one of those. Something. I've got so much things on that plate. <laughs> if, you look on my, if you look on my page, you will see it at Chef Adonis. The food it just looks amazing. Yes, at Chef Adonis. Have a look at some of the food. And at the moment, you're in the process of creating your own. Cooking show, aren't you? Yes, it's called Cooking with Adonis. So, from the time I started cooking, I've always been on my own cooking show. Watched people like Ainsley Harriet growing up. Yeah, and people like that. I just feel like there's not enough representation of us in the food industry on TV. I feel like on TV, on YouTube, and I'm tired of seeing the same faces. So, I feel like why not I do it and see what can happen of it. And it's one of the many big projects I'm looking to do, but that's just one of many things I have to walk so work and run. You obviously specialise in English and French food. Yeah. So would you are you would you branch out? Like do you you're saying about representation of our types of food on the web? Okay, so can we come back? We're still looking at food. I think we've seen it. But we'll see we'll keep talking. Yeah. So 
Would you do like Caribbean food or? Over the next 10 years, I'm working on a Caribbean and Asian concept. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like Caribbean food hasn't been taken to the heights that I think it can be taken to, mm-hmm. where our food is just as good as every other cultures. It's just not presented in a world that's competable. So in my head, I've got street food concepts. I've got fine dining concepts. So and what kind of street food would you think you would do? Like if you were going to say like a street food concept, like all so the idea for me is to take well, is to take a lot of our dishes and condense them down to simpler forms. Mm. So maybe like a Caribbean taco, or something you take in an Asian influence item like a bao bun and put in something like jerk pork in it. Okay, this actually leads us quite well onto our talking point. Because I thought today we was going to talk about a bit about appropriation of, of culture, and specifically black culture. So, when, when, like, we, we, spoke, we spoke about, like, we hear a lot about jerk rice, or, or Ikea doing their jerk chicken and white, white, and white rice and green peas, and then the whole world is like, what? that is not jerk chicken. Like, to, is that appropriation if you say you're going to do, like, a, a jerk taco? I mean, how, is that fair to say? Or is it just evolution of food? Is jerk rice evolution of food or is it just taking the mick? Sorry, I don't something. feel like jerk rice is an evolution of food because they haven't elevated it. They haven't done something more with the food. Well, that didn't even they've, exist. They've just, they've just changed it. And I feel like every dish that I want to do that might represent Caribbean food, if I feel like it's very authentic, I won't touch it on that sense. Mm-hmm. I will do my own interpretation of it. Okay. And if it comes to my own interpretation, it doesn't have to be classic. It's my interpretation of the dish I grew up on, and this is how I'm presenting it to you. Okay. You can't reinvent the wheel. Food has already been done. Everything's already been done food-wise. The reason why we get excited about food is because someone's take on it. Yeah. So I'm trying to give you a new take on things that I think would work. I think Asian food is very good and similar to Caribbean food because these are a lot of spices, yes. a lot of flavours. Uh, they also come from a background where they're very poor some parts, mm. so they're not afraid to use the cuts that we used, obviously, because we grew up on cheap, cheap meat because that's all we knew, that's all we had available to us, but they're now delicacies now. Yeah. So I feel like they have a lot of hot dishes, a lot of cold dishes, a lot of spices. I feel like certain dishes for me, because I've got 12 years of experience in a lot of different things, I, I grew up on Caribbean food. Yeah. I just didn't cook it. There was no need. Yeah, my mum cooked it. My grandma cooked it. It was in my household. Asian food is something I've had from... I had my first Chinese. So it's been something I know about. I just haven't dabbled in it. Yeah. They're very strict in the regime of like, you could spend 10 years just cooking rice. You can be a sushi chef and you're, you just learn how to just roll the rice in itself. Like, there's very much a structure. So for me, it's like I'm seeing this and I'm seeing that and I'm thinking, what can I do with this? Yeah. And that excites me. So the format of your show, what's what's going to, the show about then? Like, obviously you're going to it's cooking, but how's it going to work? Okay, so the show's called Cooking of Adonis, mm-hmm. and the concept is me and my co-host basically having fun with food. We have ten. Sam Salsa. We have. We have different competitions and my friend he's not a chef okay so, so it's the balance it's the average man up against the chef so you can relate to him okay he's gonna make mistakes That's in the fine. kitchen you would make where i'm gonna i want to beat him he's my friend but this is my this is my life so i'm gonna bring a chef point of view he's gonna bring a real life point of view he's gonna bring the the average man and i'm gonna bring the chef to this chef okay. to it. also the concept of the show is to basically Try new things. I always want to do dishes that you can do in your kitchen. So sometimes mm. I won't use scales. I might use cups because everyone's got a cup in the house. There's so many different ways you can make food into things in your house. You don't have to have the best mixer or the best blender. You just have to have the same things and just use them in inventive ways. Chef, um, are you going to share a poem with us, aren't you, Chef? Yeah, yes. definitely. And I think which which I think I requested one, didn't I? So you requested I am chocolate. I am chocolate. You're old one. You're not. 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 You're
Yes. <laughs> mm. I am chocolate. Grandma, can I have a pound to go to the shop, please? Bread's all for getting Mr. Tom's. Pick and mix, not the candy man. While well, Nestle Wood goes beyond the Snickers and nuts I'm carrying, taking for a coconut. The one wants me to be an overpriced bounty. I will melt in your mouth and not flake on you. I'm solid, but I'm not kidding. What I am is bar none. Nutty as I can still be miles apart. I can be fruity but never off topic. Arrow is all about the bubbles. Light results on first taste, love. And I mess with my being. I come equipped to kit to not cap. Others break off more than my biscuit center. What was meant to be seen and not heard, but basically whisper. After school, girls cop that with my change on my chomps. Secondary school antics. Budging me, top floor double deckers. Back then I had game confidante. Couldn't get to notice even with a nudge. I'm all confectionary, not involved in my fudge. I'm really trying to wonk her. Sightsee on my chocolate city. Coco, Cadbury, who what she's after. They want to reach the top like my shard, but my toe world is better views. You gave my boy Reese's pieces, but I find it hard to get a peanut feel. I get told it's chunky. As I'm the king of sweets and lion bars, women not for the girls and dog this Yorkie. I'm the gold member, golden balls. My favorite Roche, let's need a time out. Dream of a freeze, I can call it Twix. Once seeing a counterpart with a curl. Mouth, tongue, still touch, a little twirl. Nugent, center, scared as if a lisp. Mess to so many red bones, package that toffee crisp. Banter, got me to revel in it. The brazen balls, I love moat and nose. They call me a teaser. Come cover my raisinettes. As I'm only naked about a sucked up feeling like milky rolls, like eating on rap celebrations. Or trying to get to quality street, right? I'm chocolate. I'm ice cream. I'm a brain freezer. But melts in your mouth and become the taste pleaser. I want an occasion where a packed meal or a gathering for eating. Outdoors is a straight topic. I'm a picnic. I'm between the worlds from reality to real fantasy, like a drifter. Indulgent, I can't be sick. If you can't handle the munch, have to fully break me to enjoy the crunch. I'm always being battered in myself. Me, so I can call this an Eminem moment. Frog around princesses, being seen as a Freddo. Lots of voices to afford carrying my echo. Remember a time? Only gold I ever knew was a chocolate ring in the back. I go through so many trials and tribulations whenever I'm feeling sad. Shut the bones. Thank you. Click, 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 don't be like click, that, click, Mr. Click. Photographer. He's like, yeah, yeah, you're the chocolate wonder, bro. I'm just a school trying to get the nut in that Snickers you were talking about. Hey, Mr. Your peanut bars, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> right, so we are running out of time. So quickly, are there any thank yous that you'd like to send out there? Oh, Acknowledgements. You first. Go on, yeah, Chef. First. Chocolate one. Um, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity. And when I look back, over the next 10 years or 20 years of this journey, I can always say that my girl had my back and I really appreciate it. So, oh, I mean, it's not where I'm going, it's where I've come from, that's most important. So, thank you. No, thank you for coming, man. It's touched me. <laughs> <laughs>